So now we've got that completed, milled out some grain, and so I'm going to just add some Celtic sea salt to that, and add the water kefir, and then um, just some purified water. Non-chlorinated for sure, and then I'm going to blend that up just using a spatula, and uh, get it to the right consistency, and then let it sit for a day and a half at room temperature. I'll show you what it looks like after I've blended all the liquids together. And there it is. That's about the texture I like it to be. That is uh, pretty, pretty stiff, um, but it's hydrated, and I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow after about the 24 hour mark of fermenting at room temperature. And um, then of course, I'll make a quick little shot of what it looks like right before I bake it. And then the finished product is the best. And here's the bread the next day. Remember how tight that was yesterday? Uh, look at this, what a difference it makes. So I'm gonna just kind of fold this in this way and let it continue to sit for about another 12 to 15 hours or so at room temperature. And then tomorrow we'll bake it. And we have ourselves some bread. And here is that water kefir bread. You can see what it did back here with, uh, got a little excited. It was a warm day today and that really pushes fermentation. So it came up and it touched the lid there. And um, I'm gonna give this one more stir. And then we will get this into the oven and bake it for a little less than an hour. And we're gonna have a couple loaves of fully fermented water kefir bread made with einkorn flour. And here is the completed water kefir bread. Just pulled it out of the oven a while ago, let it cool some, and now we've sliced it and it is going to be enjoyed with an awful lot of butter.